Will the diplomatic community give Russia the cold shoulder? That's at the heart of a rare emergency special session of the UN General Assembly. All 193 members will get a chance to speak before deciding on whether to support a resolution to condemn Russia's, quote, unprovoked armed aggression in Ukraine and demand its immediate withdrawal. These are issues that affect all member states. And now in the General Assembly, they can all make their voices heard on Russia's war of choice. The decision to convene the General Assembly comes after Russia vetoed a Security Council resolution condemning the war in Ukraine on Friday. Under the 1950 resolution called Uniting for Peace, the General Assembly can call an emergency session to consider issues relating to international peace and security if the Security Council is unable to act because the five veto-holding permanent members can't come to an agreement. Russia again voted against the resolution, but this is a measure that can't be vetoed. Any attempt to circumvent or disregard the position of the Russian Federation undermines the very bedrock of the UN Charter. We shouldn't push through such schemes, but endeavor to find common ground regardless of our Western partners' attempts to avoid it. The West and its allies will be hoping to improve on the hundred countries who voted in favor of the General Assembly resolution declaring Russia's annexation of Crimea invalid. While the GEA's resolutions are non-binding, they carry political weight and a chance to isolate Russia further on the world stage.